The Wild Honeysuckle, by Philip Freneau. About the author. Philip Freneau, 1752-1832, was an American poet, journalist, and editor, often hailed as the poet of the American Revolution. His work reflects the revolutionary spirit of his time and provides valuable insights into the early American experience. Freneau's writing career gained momentum during the American Revolution. He wrote a series of patriotic poems and essays that expressed his support for the revolutionary cause and criticized British colonial rule. His work helped to inspire and rally American colonists. Freneau published his first significant poem, The American Village, in 1772. His early work often focused on themes of nature and pastoral life, reflecting his admiration for the natural world. Freneau's poetry is characterized by its use of vivid imagery, emotional depth, and philosophical reflections. He was influenced by both the neoclassical and romantic traditions, blending elements of each in his work. Some of Freneau's notable poems include The Wild Honeysuckle, The Indian Burying Ground, and The British Prison Ship. These works highlight his range, from pastoral meditations to political commentary and reflections on human mortality. Freneau is considered a significant figure in early American literature. His work helped to shape the emerging American literary identity, moving away from European influences and focusing on uniquely American themes and experiences. Philip Freneau's life and work are integral to the story of early American literature and the Revolutionary period. His poetry and political writings reflect the complexities and ideals of a nascent nation, making him a key figure in the development of a distinctive American voice in literature. Significance of the title The title, The Wild Honeysuckle, holds significant meaning and contributes to the poem's overall themes and messages. The honeysuckle flower is often associated with natural beauty and purity. By choosing this flower as the focus of his poem, Freneau highlights the inherent beauty of nature, which is a central theme of the work. Honeysuckles, particularly wild ones, are delicate and transient. This aligns with the poem's meditation on the fleeting nature of life and the temporary nature of all living things. The adjective, wild, emphasizes the flower's natural, untamed state. This suggests a contrast between the untouched beauty of nature and the cultivated, often artificial beauty found in human environments. The notion of wildness fits well with the romantic idealization of nature as a pure and unspoiled realm, free from the corrupting influences of society. The wild honeysuckle serves as a metaphor for human life. Just as the flower blooms beautifully for a short time before withering away, human life is also brief and ephemeral. The title, therefore, sets the stage for the poem's exploration of mortality and the transient nature of existence. The honeysuckle's wildness can also symbolize innocence and simplicity, suggesting a return to a more natural and authentic way of being, which was a common theme in romantic literature. By specifying the wild honeysuckle, Freneau draws the reader's attention to a specific element of nature, encouraging a close and detailed observation. This aligns with the poem's detailed descriptions and vivid imagery. The title evokes a sense of place and season, conjuring images of a peaceful, natural setting where the honeysuckle grows. This helps to create the contemplative and serene mood of the poem.
the life cycle of the honeysuckle, from its blooming to its eventual decay, mirrors the poem's reflections on the cycle of life and death. The title encapsulates this theme, preparing the reader for the poem's deeper philosophical musings. The title, The Wild Honeysuckle, is significant because it encapsulates the poem's exploration of natural beauty, the fleeting nature of life, and the romantic idealization of untamed nature. By focusing on the wild honeysuckle, Frano sets the stage for a meditation on the transient and delicate aspects of existence, inviting readers to appreciate the ephemeral beauty of the natural world. Summary of the poem The Wild Honeysuckle by Philip Frano is a reflective and contemplative poem that explores themes of nature, beauty, and the transient nature of life. The poem is structured into four six-line stanzas, each contributing to the overarching themes of the poem. Stanza 1. In the opening stanza, Freno describes the wild honeysuckle in its natural habitat, secluded and untouched by human hands. He marvels at the flower's beauty and purity, emphasizing its untouched and pristine state. This sets the tone for the poem, celebrating the natural world and its inherent beauty. Stanza 2. The second stanza continues to praise the honeysuckle, noting how it thrives in its secluded environment, away from the bustling world. Freno emphasizes the flower's independence and resilience, untouched by human interference. He suggests that its beauty is enhanced by its wild and solitary existence. Stanza 3. In the third stanza, Freneau introduces the theme of transience. He reflects on the flower's life cycle, from its blossoming to its inevitable decay. The poet uses the honeysuckle as a metaphor for human life, suggesting that just like the flower, Human existence is brief and fleeting. The stanza highlights the beauty of the present moment while acknowledging its impermanence. Stanza 4. The final stanza deepens the reflection on mortality. Freno muses on the inevitability of death, suggesting that life returns to the same state of nothingness from which it emerged. The poet concludes with a philosophical acceptance of this natural cycle, emphasizing that the fleeting beauty of the flower, and by extension human life, is part of a larger, eternal cycle. Overall, the wild honeysuckle, is a meditation on the beauty of nature and the ephemeral nature of life. Freno uses the image of the wild honeysuckle to explore themes of purity, seclusion, resilience, and the inevitable passage of time. The poem celebrates the natural world while offering a contemplative reflection on the transient nature of existence, encouraging readers to appreciate the present moment and the fleeting beauty it holds. Critical Analysis of the Poem the Wild Honeysuckle, by Philip Freneau is a pastoral poem that reflects on the themes of nature, beauty, and the transient nature of life. Written in the 18th century, the poem is a classic example of early American literature that combines a deep appreciation for nature with contemplative reflections on existence. Freneau's poem is a celebration of the natural world. The wild honeysuckle, a symbol of untamed beauty, represents the purity and innocence of nature. Freneau's descriptive language paints a vivid picture of the flower in its natural habitat, highlighting its delicate beauty and fragility. The poet's admiration for the honeysuckle reflects the romantic idealization of nature as a source of inspiration and solace. One of the central themes of the poem is the fleeting nature of life. 
Prino uses the honeysuckle as a metaphor for human existence, emphasizing the inevitability of death. The poet's reflection on mortality invites readers to consider the temporary nature of their own lives and the importance of appreciating the present moment. Frenot employs rich imagery and symbolism throughout the poem to convey his themes. The honeysuckle, with its delicate petals and fragrant blossoms, symbolizes the beauty and transience of life. The Morning suns and evening dews, represent the passage of time, marking the flower's growth and eventual decay. This imagery underscores the natural cycle of life and death, reinforcing the poem's contemplative tone. The tone of, the wild honeysuckle, is reflective and contemplative. Frenot's use of language creates a mood of serene introspection, inviting readers to ponder the beauty and impermanence of life. The poem's gentle rhythm and lyrical quality enhance its meditative atmosphere, drawing readers into a state of quiet contemplation. Frenot's poem can be seen as a philosophical reflection on the nature of existence. By comparing human life to the lifespan of a flower, the poet underscores the insignificance of individual lives in the grand scheme of the universe. This perspective aligns with the romantic emphasis on the sublime and the profound connection between humanity and the natural world. The Wild Honeysuckle, by Philip Freneau was written in the late 18th century a period marked by significant social and cultural transformations in America. Understanding the social and cultural context of the poem can enhance our appreciation of its themes and significance. Freneau wrote, The Wild Honeysuckle, in the years following the American Revolution. This was a time when the newly formed United States was beginning to forge its own national identity, distinct from its colonial past. Literature played a crucial role in this process, with poets like Freneau contributing to the creation of a uniquely American voice. The late 18th century saw the emergence of Romanticism, a literary and artistic movement that emphasized the beauty and power of nature, individual emotion, and the sublime. Freneau's poem reflects romantic ideals through its focus on the natural world and its use of nature as a metaphor for human experiences. The Enlightenment, with its emphasis on reason, science, and human progress, also influenced the period. Freneau's contemplative tone and philosophical reflections on life and death can be seen as a response to Enlightenment ideas, blending rational thought with a deep appreciation for the mysteries of nature. While transcendentalism as a formal movement would not emerge until the 1830s, Freneau's work foreshadows some of its themes, particularly the emphasis on the spiritual connection between humans and nature. Freneau is often called the poet of the American Revolution, and is considered one of the early voices in American literature. His work, including The Wild Honeysuckle, helped to lay the groundwork for a distinctly American literary tradition, separate from European influences. The poem fits within the pastoral tradition, which idealizes rural life and nature. This tradition has roots in classical literature but was adapted by American writers to reflect the unique landscapes and experiences of the New World. Although, the wild honeysuckle, primarily focuses on nature and philosophical themes, it can also be read as a subtle commentary on the human condition. By highlighting the transient beauty of the honeysuckle, 
Prenot may be critiquing the fleeting nature of human achievements and the hubris of striving for permanence in an ever-changing world. Prenot's appreciation for the beauty and fragility of the wild honeysuckle can be seen as an early expression of environmental awareness. His work encourages readers to recognize the value of nature and to contemplate the impact of human actions on the natural world. The Wild Honeysuckle, by Philip Freneau is a poignant meditation on nature, beauty, and the transient nature of life. Through vivid imagery, reflective tone, and philosophical musings, Freneau captures the essence of the romantic spirit, celebrating the natural world while contemplating the deeper questions of existence. The poem's enduring appeal lies in its ability to evoke both admiration for nature's beauty and a thoughtful awareness of life's fleeting moments. The social and cultural context of The Wild Honeysuckle is rich and multifaceted. The poem reflects the burgeoning American identity, the influence of Romantic and Enlightenment thought, and the development of early American literature. Freneau's work captures the spirit of his time while offering timeless reflections on nature, beauty, and the human experience. Themes The Wild Honeysuckle, by Philip Freneau explores several profound themes that reflect on nature, beauty, transience, and mortality. Here is a detailed discussion of the primary themes in the poem, Nature and Beauty. The poem begins with an admiration of the wild honeysuckle, emphasizing its beauty and purity. Freneau's detailed descriptions paint a vivid picture of the flower in its natural, unspoiled state. This celebration of nature aligns with romantic ideals, which often emphasize the beauty and sanctity of the natural world. The honeysuckle's seclusion from human interference suggests a purity and innocence that is preserved by its isolation. This theme underscores the idea that true beauty is found in nature, untouched and untainted by human hands. Transience and ephemerality a central theme of the poem is the fleeting nature of life. Freneau uses the honeysuckle as a metaphor to illustrate the transient beauty of existence. The flower's brief bloom symbolizes the shortness of human life, emphasizing that beauty and life are both temporary. The poem reflects on the natural cycle of birth, growth, and decay. Freneau acknowledges that just as the honeysuckle will eventually wither and die, all living things are subject to the same fate. This theme highlights the inevitable progression of life and the universality of death. Mortality and acceptance. Freneau confronts the inevitability of death, suggesting that all life, no matter how beautiful, must come to an end. The poet's acceptance of this natural cycle is evident in the contemplative tone of the poem. He portrays death as a return to the original state of non-existence, a natural conclusion to life's brief journey. The poem invites readers to reflect on their mortality and the transient nature of their own lives. By accepting the fleeting nature of life, Freneau suggests a philosophical acceptance of mortality, encouraging readers to find peace in the natural order of things. Romanticism and the sublime. The wild honeysuckle embodies key elements of romanticism, including a deep reverence for nature, an emphasis on individual perception, and a focus on the sublime. The poem's appreciation for the natural world and its contemplation of life and death reflects romantic values that celebrate the beauty and mystery of existence.
The poem evokes the sublime by portraying the honeysuckle's beauty as something awe-inspiring yet transient. This evokes a sense of wonder and reverence, characteristic of the romantic sublime, where beauty is intertwined with an awareness of its impermanence. Isolation and Solitude the honeysuckle's secluded location is depicted as a sanctuary where it can thrive undisturbed. This theme suggests that isolation can protect and preserve beauty, allowing it to flourish away from the corrupting influences of society. By highlighting the honeysuckle's seclusion, Freno implicitly contrasts the purity of nature with the complexities and corruptions of human society. This theme reflects a romantic idealization of nature as a pure and unspoiled refuge from the industrialized world. The Wild Honeysuckle, by Philip Freneau explores themes that are both timeless and universal. Through the lens of a single flower, Freneau contemplates the beauty of nature, the fleeting nature of life, and the inevitability of death. The poem encourages readers to appreciate the present moment and to find solace in the natural cycles of life and death. These themes are presented with a contemplative tone and vivid imagery, making the poem a poignant reflection on the human condition and the natural world.